Hello everybody, welcome. This is me, Amphamine, coming at you with some Bioshock. Now in the last episode, we took down the Crooked Doctor Steinman with flair and expertise and skill. Dang it, we were just plain awesome at it. You're ready now. It's time to take on one of them big daddies. It won't be easy, but it's the only way to get the little sisters and the atom they carry. Well... Atlas seems to think that we need to deal with a big daddy. Let's make sure we've got all of our firearms in order. This is where armor piercing pistol rounds come in massive handy. This is also where it's really, really nice to have some mechanical friends and knowledge of where the healing stations are. Big daddies will not use the health stations, but they will be very, very, very nice for you to use. So, hello Mr. Big Daddy! It is time to unload six full rounds of armor-piercing pistol rounds into your body. Now this is a bouncer. You can recognize it by the big old rails. And they have a ground powder attack that'll slow you by a massive amount. And they also have a charging rush attack that will hurt a lot. Also, basically, most of the damage comes from melee range, so a lot of fighting a bouncer is keeping them away from you, which is where Mechano friends can help. So, let's wait for him to get into a better position so that the turret will start firing on him immediately once we piss him off. And let's do this! Yep! And there is his charge attack and his round pound attack. Luckily, however, his dealing with the turret allows me to be pretty accurate when it comes to my pistol rounds. With your tops and submachine gun at this stage, you're going to want to use, well, just as usual, you're going to want to use short control bursts. Ow. Okay. Well, we didn't come out of it unscathed, which isn't surprising at all. But we did get $56. And a little girl. Let's save her with my no. creepy, glowy no. vein arm. No. no, man, I gotta take the slug from you. You don't understand. And now everything's better. Thank you, mister. No problem. Thank you. Now, the interesting thing is, there's another big daddy right there, but he has no little sister. If you look in your menu, you hit escape, you can see that there are two little sisters in this level that we have saved. I believe if you harvest them, they'll have a little X on them. And if there's a little sister still protected by a big daddy, there will be a little big daddy icon next to it. So, we've gotten both little sisters in this level. You'll see big daddy banging on these big old vents here, but now the n no little sister will come out. You can kill them if you want to. They do give you a fair amount of money, but at this point, it's far, far more effort than it's worth. So what I'm gonna do now is grab some of the stuff that I left behind and go to this gatherer's garden. Grab this Eve upgrade, which happens to be exactly how much we got. So now, gotten a health, up, health upgrade and an Eve upgrade, so we are good to go, or if not precisely good to go, we are better off than we were. And happily, that fight didn't take quite as many resources as it could have. Generally, the armor-piercing rounds that you get are meant for big daddies. There are other targets that you can use them, you can, against which you can use them, but... They're really not worth it. Come through as soon as you get there. You're going okay. to right now. You won't hear them coming, but be there before you know it. There's Alice peeping in my ear. Yes, yes, I'm aware. I have places to go, things to do, people to be. Specifically myself. And you need to go away now, sir. I appreciate not your presence. Flippin' Thompsons, no accuracy. Back to the web, bleep. 
That is an explosive. Now you can be interesting and use telekinesis, but I am uninteresting and just gonna run up and shoot the face, or I guess torso. Because, ah, ha, ha, there is a final. Yeah. Chucks out a final grenade. Nothing in the grenade box, but $14. <laughs> a win for me. If it was safe, I probably would have just wrenched him to death. But it was not given us how, you know, flying grenades. Thank you for your patience. Patience? Nothing. I'm the most impatient dude around. Come through to Port Neptune now. I'm looking forward to shaking your hand. I guess I could shake your hand. Unless you're one of those super sweaty people. And then, I mean, I'll shake your hand and it won't be like, Ew, gross, you're sweaty, but it'll be like, eh. Yeah, could we go now? You know, to like, somewhere that's not Rapture, because that'd be A+. plus. Thumbs up. Woo! Alright! Yeah! But, you know, eh. Well, I guess we'll find that out when we actually get there. Hey, my game was saved automatically! Hooray! Now you have More from Atlas. He's the one who built this place. And he's the one who ran it into the ground. Liable, huh? Exactly what ah! Maybe he went mad. Maybe, Maybe the power got to him. Maybe he just decided he didn't like people. Whichever way you slice it, good man died. My family's in a submarine hidden in the foundation of Fontaine Fisheries. I'll meet you there. Well, hello, other big daddy. Now you'll notice that this corpse looks different than the first. Uh, the first big daddy that we fought, that is, and there is a significant reason for that. There are several types of big daddies. We fought a bouncer. This one is a Rosie. And I believe we'll be meeting another one pretty soon here. This, a gene bank. When you're not using plasmids or tonics, they go here. You can swap them in and out at will, but I have absolutely no tonics that I care to swap in and out. I only have plasmids. I, I have incinerate that I can swap with electrobolt or telekinesis, but I don't want to swap out either. So, hooray! And, alright, I am now going to hack this vending machine. And it's really glorious. Back in a tick, folks. Alright! We got ourselves a brand new hacked vending machine, and I got some health and eat back. Both of which are pretty dang useful. Climb over all this useless rubble. Nothing interesting, unfortunate. Oh, hey, a shadow. Those aren't at all bad. You know, every other time there's been a shadow in this game, it's not been a horrible experience. And hey, there's a body floating in the water. Sup, dude? How you feeling? Yeah, me too. Let's see, four accidents last year, two accidents this year. Sweet. All right, since I guess I gotta. I crawl in thine garden, jumpy lady. Rose petals. Why do you excrete rose petals? And this right here is precisely why I kept telekinesis instead of swapping it back out with incinerate. There are a bunch of neat little items that you can do. Shh, lady, you are trying to be poetic while I am trying to explain things. And I am the captain of this show vessel. You shall not, shall not usurp me in that role. I refuse to allow it. <sighs> If he's got anything. Nope, nothing interesting on him. We're at max for save kits, and I don't have enough health lost to really justify it, so. Yeah. Hey, hey! Another thingamajig to hack! Alright, everybody, you know the drill. B. R. B. We get more health, cheaper prices. What could possibly go wrong in this situation? Hey! And it gave us pretty much enough health to be. 
just about back at full, which is pretty awesome in my book. Ah! Now we see our brand new friend. This is the Rosie. Yeah, yeah, I know. You're getting all pissy at me for getting close. You'll notice that Rosies do not have any drill, but they do have a gigantic rivet gun. They can use that to very, very, very effective uses. They can put it to very effective uses. I can speak words. And they can also throw proximity mines, little cluster bombs. They hurt greatly. If you can time it properly, you can telekinesis it right back at them. You fat I... Give it to me! Well, it looks like a splicer has uh, attempted, to <laughs> to, attempted to take on this big daddy and is failing spectacularly at it. I believe the splicer is dead, which is pretty hilarious. Wow! Alright, this did not happen in my practice playthroughs, which is kind of neat. As you can see, that's the proximity explosive right there. You run into that little red circle, it detonates, and pretty much kills you. Now, the Splazers have gotten a bit of a head start, so I'm going to take a little bit of a risk, because you can wait to take on this big daddy, or we can do it now. There's going to be a Gatherer's Garden pretty shortly here, and I could definitely use with some extra health in the intervening time. So, I'm gonna do one of them F5 types. Bam! Ha! Alright. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now this is probably gonna kill me, because honestly, the Rosies hurt a lot, and I don't have much that's really gonna be good against, against a Rosie. The Bouncer... I could just kind of kite around and shoot. The Rosies can shoot back, so that complicates things a little bit. So, you know, I still want to try, though. Because, hey, hey, it makes for good television, yeah? All right, Rosie, let's do it. All right. Back to regular pistol rounds. Come at me, bro. Yeah, luckily, at these distances, the Rosie is sticking to a rivet gun, so instead of chucking proximity mines... Hey! Hey! No! Bad! Mostly to its rivet gun, and not using too many of its proximity mines. If you don't catch a proximity mine that it throws, it can get pretty bad pretty quickly, because they will be able to litter the battlefield with them. Yeah. Oh, wow, that was just freaking awful. Okay. <laughs> Apparently, I don't understand quite how... Ow! Wowza. And that, my friends, is precisely what you do not want to get hit by those proximity mines. Alright, and hopefully I can actually... Curses! A thousand curses upon ye and your ancestors! I shall gain my revenge for your insolence, sir! Ah, didn't, didn't manage to catch that one in time. But, as long as I remember where it is, it should be alright. I don't see it, which is bad, because that means I don't remember where it is. Yep. <laughs> Fantastic! Alright. Nothing in the rivet gun. $47 on the actual big daddy. Hey! 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 Whoa! Alright, I didn't remember that, so I'm just gonna harvest this your little sister. Well, rescue. And she's gonna be like, no! It's the same animation that we saw closer towards the beginning of the video, so, you know. But! Ah! One, but <gasps> I'm a friend to us. Regardless, a little one brings you a gift to demonstrate our appreciation. Well, alright. 
I am okay with this. Rolled beside a teddy bear that gathers garden. All right. Do I even have? No, I do not have armor piercing rounds for my Thompson. Now I am going to electrocute and hack this here machine turret. I will be right back, ladies and gentlemen. All right, and we're back. I always love how I do practice runs to at least sort of look like I may be kind of competent at this game. And even then, there are things that either I completely forget about or just miss. And because, because that, that turret would have helped immensely. But, you know, there's me just running right on by. But we have gotten Tenenbaum's first gift. Yes, and there is also another turret over there. I don't really care about it right now. But we have gotten Ten Bomb's first gift, which is good for us. Anyway, I think that's a good place to stop this episode. Thank you all for watching. As always, I appreciate it very much. This has been me, Ampamine, coming at you with some more Bioshock. And I will catch all of you on the flip side.